Baylor is going to number 13, West Virginia. The Mountaineers are coming off a bye after two weeks ago. They uh, played Iowa State, and it did not go well out there. Now, West Virginia's won the last two, and they're, I'm going to tell you, Baylor, and they can sneak up on some folks. You saw what they did down in Austin. You know what? They took it all the way. They had a chance on the last play of the game. Now, Dana Hogerson at West Virginia, uh, something to think about. Over the last five years, he's 14 in, the, in 16 in second half of the season. It doesn't uh, always kind of peaks. Remember 2012, give Geno the Heisman, and then kind of goes down. But they have a lot to play for now. They're still in this thing with Oklahoma, with Texas. They can still win the Big 12. So, Mark, Baylor at Mountaineers on Thursday night. Well, Matt Rule's group played a terrific game against Texas, as you said. They only lost 23-17 to in Texas, and I think that was the key that they played in Austin, and he's got to take that and put it on their back and carry that all the way to Morgantown, Virginia. West Virginia is a different team at home, Coach. Will Greer has completed 71% of his passes on the season, has a terrific group of wide receivers and depth at wide receivers. They have 10 players on the roster that averages more than 10 yards per reception, so they're going to throw the ball around. The question about West Virginia is when you get further in the season, when the weather changes, they can't run the ball effectively and the key of this game they're going to have to run the football but I look at their defense they're still doing a terrific job with Tony Gibson as a coordinator they're only giving up 20 points per game that's what's going to hold this score down for Baylor but I got West Virginia winning 47 to 31 over Baylor well West Virginia doesn't play particularly well in the second half of the season but it's not because of anything except the schedule that's when they play Oklahoma that's when they play Texas that's when they play Oklahoma State the schedule sort of backloaded for West Virginia. West Virginia played horrendous, and uh, uh, Greer, the quarterback from West Virginia, had a terrible day. They throw the ball an awful lot. They have too many turnovers, but I just believe this. A team that's used to win them, and you get beat like that, you are anxious to redeem yourself. We talked about Ohio State. We talked about upset teams. They bounce back very strong. I look for West Virginia to play a heck of a football game, and I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, Morgantown is a beautiful environment to watch a football game. There's a great <laughs> environment, the enthusiasm of the fans, and they're so nice and friendly. <laughs> I look for West Virginia to win this Bull football Loney. game. 38 to 20. I played there a couple the times. Bull They're not <laughs> nice. That's where Jackie Sherrill told us to wear your helmets on the sidelines, even when you're on the sidelines, because guess what? They throw nickels. You want to know why they throw nickels? Because they can't afford to throw quarters in West Virginia. Jackie <laughs> Sherrill said that. I didn't say you're that. I'm paraphrasing that. My home state. <laughs> I, I will tell you. I, they throw, they I throw, throw rocks. The they, throw, they throw nickels. They throw batteries. They throw frozen well, orange. I, well, well, Coach and Mark, I will tell you this. Two things. One, I've been there as a fan wearing the opposing team colors, a lot like Lane Stadium. But you know what? Uh, you know, my family and friends in the West Virginia National Guard, there is not a more loyal fan base than the Mountaineers. We're with the West Virginia Army National Guard. And I would just like to thank Coach Holtz and Mark May for the pick for us to beat the Baylor Bears this Thursday. It's a big game for us. It's a big conference game. So I want to say thank you again, Coach and Mark. Let's go! Mountaineers! There is not a more loyal fan base than the Mountaineers. You know what? Love them or hate them, you know what? They will stand by their team. And Coach, you know what? Maybe they'll start winning those national championships if they can get a West Virginia-born coach to stay at home and coach them.